Greetings of peace and joy to all of you sisters and brothers and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary. The Church celebrates today Feast of Holy Family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Ron Ronald Ray Espartinez, SVD, Vice Rector. Our Eucharistic celebration will now begin. Please rise. The herald angels sing glory to the newborn king. Peace on earth and mercy are God and sinners reconciled. Joyful all the nations rise, join the triumph of the skies. Read angelic hosts proclaim. Is born in Bethlehem. All the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Christ by I a seven adored, Christ the everlasting Lord, waiting time beholding God, don't scream up the rainbow. In flesh, thy God and see, hail and carry, deity. Please, this man to man to dwell, Jesus, son, Emmanuel. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all and with, and with you your spirit. spirit. Mga kapatid, Merry Christmas to everyone. Ang Christmas season po ng Simbahang Katoliko mahaba until the baptism of Jesus at the River Jordan. Ngayon din po ang feast day ng Feast of the Holy Family. And let us also be mindful of those joining in this Mass in the online. We are connected right now in GMA, in the channels of Father Joe Orbos and Divine Word Media. We bring our intentions in this Holy Mass and also bringing the intentions of our family. May peace, forgiveness, understanding, respect reign in our family and in our country. And so for us to worthily offer ourselves in this celebration, let us first recall our sins and ask God for His pardon and mercy. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord, 
Jesus Christ, only be God and Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer for you. Manalangin tayo, O God, who were pleased to give us the shining example of the Holy Family, graciously grant that we may imitate them in practicing the virtues of family life and in the bonds of charity, and so in the joy of your house, delight one day in eternal rewards through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. God sets a father in honor over his children. A mother's authority he confirms over her sons. Whoever honors his father atones for sins and preserves himself from them. When he prays, he is heard. He stores up riches who reveres his mother. Whoever honors his father is gladdened by children, and when he prays, is heard. Whoever reveres his father will live a long life. He who obeys his father brings comfort to his mother. My son, take care of your father when he is old. Grieve him not as long as he lives. Even if his mind fail, be considerate of him. Revile him not all the days of his life. Kindness to a father will not be forgotten. Firmly planted against the debt of your sins, a house raised in justice to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored.
life shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home, your children like olive plants around your table. is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, put on as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another if one has a grievance against another. As the Lord has forgiven you, so must you also do. And over all these, put on love, that is the bond of perfection. And let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you are also called in one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom, you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. We honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with yours. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The parents of Jesus used to go every year to Jerusalem for the feast of the Passover. And when he was 12, they went up for certain celebration, as was their custom. As they were returning at the end of the feast, the child Jesus remained behind, unknown to his parents. Thinking he was in the party, they continued their journey for a day. Looking for him among the relatives and acquaintances, not finding him, they returned to Jerusalem in search of him. On the third day, they came upon him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. All who heard him were amazed at his intelligence and his answers. 
When his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? You see that your father and I have been searching for you in sorrow. He said to them, Why did you search for me? Did you not know I had to be in my father's house? But they did not grasp what he said to them. He went down with them then and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. His mother, meanwhile, kept all these things in memory. Jesus, for his part, progressed steadily in wisdom and age and grace before God and men. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Ang ati pong pag-uusapan ngayong hapon ay paano ang isang pamilya magkaroon ng matatag na ugnayan. Kasi a strong family ties is next to godliness, a sign of holiness. Kung merong matatag, malalim na samahan. Because this Sunday is the feast of the Holy Family. By the way, those in the online we are in the diocesan shrine of Jesus the Divine Word, Christ the King. Mission Seminary, we are in Quezon City, Philippines. So una, paano makaroon matatag ng samahang pamilya? Napakalaga po yung may strong faith in God, ang isang pamilya. The center of the family is God. Magbigay ng tamang oras maglaan and make God the priority of each member of the family. Yung makita nyo po dyan si St. Arnold, yung carved within, yan po ang aming founder ng SVD. Alam nyo ba ang buhay nila sa Germany, yung tatay niya, nang maliit pa sila, mga I think 4 years old yata, St. Arnold, yung tatay niya, pag mabang si Simba, pupunta ta sa harapan ng simbahan. Harapan. Kasi he would like to really listen sa homely ng pari and keep in his memory. Kasi pag uwi niya, titipunin niya yung kanyang mga anak kasama St. Arnold. I-explain niya in simple words yung, yung sinabi ng pari. So what an ideal father. Tapos pag may kulog, pag may mga sakit ang ibang anak niya, at pag may problema ang familia, ang gagawin ng tatay sa gabi, titipunin sila babasahan ng mga inspirational Bible sayings. So that's the story of our founder. Kaya po sa mga nakikinig ngayon sa online at nandito sa sinibahan, sa mga lola, lolo, mga nanay, tatay, please teach your children early on to believe in God. God is invisible. Di nakikita but teach them so that God will become visible through your words. Kasi alam niyo, mahalaga ang batang lumaki may panampalataya. I'll enumerate to you four benefits pag ang tao ay may faith in God. Una, ang isang tao may panampalataya, your life is fed and nourished. Your mind and heart and soul is fed, nourished with the word of God. And that's, that, that's enough. Your heart will, will be filled with meaning, with enlightenment, and purpose. And most likely, itong mga bagay na ito are stepping stone para yung bata na yan lumaki mag-responsable, mature, and a developed person. Kasi may ang buhay niya merong direction and guide. Merap naman kasi ang bato, walang kinakatakutan. There's what you call healthy fear. Pangalawa, ang tao lumaking may Diyos will have a strong faith and maging matatag siya even in times of suffering and trials and brokenness. Pagpunta ko sa isang mall, yung promotional statement ng isang Relo, ganito, this watch will not break under pressure. 
mapapabili siguro ako noon kasi ang mahal. Pero ganoon din po sa buhay pamilya, kung ang mga bata na truan maniwala sa Diyos, your children, when they grow old, will not break under pressure. And that's priceless. Pangatlo, ang bata o mga tao na lumaki may panapalataya, may self-control, may disiplina. At mahalaga ngayon ang disiplina, especially on how you handle your sexual urges. So sa mga nanay, please teach your children to have discipline in matters of sexual pleasures. This has to be thought about Huwag ka agad mag-asawa ng maaga if, if they are not ready. Pang-apat, ang taong lumaki mo yung pandapalataya can easily forgive. One time sa mall, may nadaanan ako. Siguro nag-away, siguro yun. Nagwawala doon. Out, you call it outburst. Outburst. Nagdilim yung siguro yung paningin ng taong iyon. But a faith, a, a, a person who has faith, will not easily go outburst. Kaya, kasi mahalaga ang forgiveness. So again, a family that prays together stays together. So give, giving time to God is not a waste of time. But it's the most valuable investment asset both for the short term and long term purposes. So kindly check Jot, da- jot it down. Pangalawang po pala, how to have a strong family relationship, uh, I think napakalaga yung respect and understanding. Kasi if you want to define what is love, basically it's love and uh, it's respect and understanding. Pag sinabing un- respect po ay respect, ibig sabihin, Tratatuhin kita, I will treat you well. Tratatuhin ang isang tao ayon sa kanyang dangal. To give each one his due. Siyempre sa pamilya, pagdating sa role, iba-ibang role natin. Kung tatay ka, nanay ka, yan ang role mo. Ang role ng bata ay anak. The role is talaga, pagdating sa role, hindi tayo pantay-pantay. Pero pagdating sa value, halaga ng ating pagkatao, pantay-pantay po tayo. Ibig sabihin kung pantay-pantay tayo, kahit baby pa lang yan, you have to treat your baby very well with respect. Tratuhin siya, kilalani na may halaga, value ang buhay niya. Equal treatment. Kaya inaalala ko yung sinabi ni Vilma Santos doon sa pelikulang Inay ba yun? Nung, ano niya si Claudine Barreto? Sa pelikula kasi doon, si Claudine Barreto nagre-rebelde kay Vilma Santos kasi OFW si Vilma Santos sa Hong Kong, umalis siya ng bata pa lang sila Claudine. So lumaki sila Claudine, parang walang nanay na sumasama sa graduation, walang nanay na nainggit siya sa mga nanay na klase niya na hinahap-hapiyap yung likod, iniyakap. So, so ang akinakali ni Claudine, walang kwenta ang nanay niya. Yun ang bumuo sa isip niya kaya nang bumalik yung nanay niya sa Pilipinas, ang ginagawa ni Claudine, binabasto sa yung nanay niya, sinisigawan niya, di niya kinakausap. Kaya nang nag-away sila ni Vilma, sabi ni Vilma sa kanya, Carla, kahit man sana hindi mo ako mahalin bilang nanay, tratuin mo rin ako bilang tao. Ang ibig sabihin nun po, kaya sa pamilya nag-away-away tayo, may samaan ng loob, even in the inside the house, be professional. Be civil. Kasi mga tao yan eh. Kahit anak mo yan, tao pa rin yan eh. Kahit asawa mo yan, kahit ikaw siguro ang kumikita mas malaki, pantay-pantay kayo. So be professional. Even inside the house. Dapat parang ano mga executive looking. Kasi <laughs> pantay-pantay ang halaga natin. Again, sabi ni Vilma Santos, kung hindi mo kayo mahalin bilang nanay, kahit malang, tratuhin mo ako bilang tao. Kaya nga po, please be very professional, be civil. Kaya po sa mga tatay at sa mga nanay na nandito, huwag niyo pong sasabihin sa inyong mga anak na anak lang kita. At sa mga nag-apon dito, 
just in case magkamali yung bata na pinalaki nyo, huwag nyong pagalitan kasi na mas na-insecure sila eh. Kaya nga minsan yung mga adopted, they, they are so insecure kasi ayaw nila magkamali kasi baka sumbatan sila ng adapt sa kanila. Kaya please be very patient. Please be very, very patient. Love should conquer all. Give what is due. Give what is due to each one. So next time, if a member to your family is not treating you well, kindly tell them, please give me the, please treat me what is due to me. <laughs> what is due? What is due to me? Do not treat a person, a lesser, a lesser person, sa pamilya, pagdating sa dangal, walang mataas, walang mababa. So give to each one his due. Para walang problema. Para paglaki ng mga batang iyan, wala din na sa maanang loob na kung nabuhay siya sa pamilyang iyan, kundi they will be proud and happy to look back that they come from this family because they will treated with equality, fairness, and what is due. I think yan ang problema sa mga maraming Filipino family ngayon. Bakit nag-aaway? They do not know how to measure what is due. So give what is due. At kapan at ka kaakibat po ng respect is understanding. But if you are a respectful person, at the same time, you will be very understanding. Kasi iba-iba ang gali ng mga tao sa loob ng pamilya. Kaya po, number one, mahal mahalaga may malalim na understand. Kaya sa mga gusto mag-asawa dito, ang una niyong hanapin talaga, may kapasitid ba yan na asawahin mo na may understanding? <laughs> Malawak ba ang panunod niyan sa buhay? Flexible ba yan? Kaya ba niya na umintindi? Kasi tatlo po, pag, pag may understanding ka, person, may tatlo kang capacity. Una, you are sensitive to do your part. Sa bahay, kahit medyo ano kayo, mag, ikaw na mag-initiative, maghugas. Maglinis ka, hindi ka sinasabihan. Maglinis ka na. Huwag <laughs> ka na, na Kasi you need to be sensitive. Kasi naunawaan mo na yun, you must, life is give and take. At ang tao pong may ano, may pangalawa, <clears throat> sa loob ng pamilya kasi, iba-ibang ugali ng tao, minsan gusto mo maniwala sa iyong asawa mo, mga anak mo. Imposible talaga, hindi mo ma mapipilit ang tao magbago. Ano, mga ano gawin ko na lang, father, pansamantala, you change the way you look at the person. Yun na lang siguro. You change the way you look at the person. You change the way you look at the person. And I think that will usher peace to the family. Huwag po maging domineering. But, and last po pala, pa, ang taong may malalim understanding, nakikinig siya, hindi para may may sasagot siya, kundi nakikinig siya para po umintindihin yung tao. And meron, pong, meron sa, akong sa inyo ikwento na example, yung aming namayapa na si Father Willie. Uh, namatay siya, I think, five years ago. Sabi niya kasi, nang sila ay matatanda, mga mga magkapatid, nang dumating na sila 30 years old, 40, 50, they were, they grew up close to one another. Close sila, they are helping one another, they freely talk to one another. Sabi niya sa akin, sa tingin niya daw, isa bakit naging silang close sa isa't isa, yung ginawa ng tatay-nanay nila ng bata sila. Kasi yung natatay niya daw sa late dati, kahit superintendent ng school, pag superintendent ka kasi, sa iba-ibang lugar ka ma-assign. Pero pag Sabado daw talaga, sisikapin ng tatay niya, umuwi ng bahay. Anong purpose uuwi? Kasi alasays ng gabi, pagkatapos ng rosary, may weekly family meeting. May long table sila, lahat ng mga anak, dosi sila eh, upo sa long table. Tapos, isa-isa magsasalita, mangumustahan, oh, anong nangyari sa this week? May problema ka ba? Tapos doon na, everyone will have a voice. Aayusin na doon yung problema. Papaunawain na sa bawat bata. Tapos sasabihin, mga anak, ito ang gasos natin ngayon. <laughs> so, ganito ang pag-budget. I mean, transparent ang lahat ng bagay. I don't know kung kaya po pa ninyo yan ngayon. But I think, may wisdom yung tatay ni Father Willie for doing it. Kung di nyo kaya siguro weekly meeting, kahit malamang monthly meeting, tawagin nyo yung pamilya nyo, pag-usapan nyo yung buhay pamilya, para along the way, maisaayos na mapag-usapan, maging klarado, ang pinagdaan ng pamilya. 
to close his homily, uh, that's which also included po sa how to have a strong family, may narinig niyo mga tinatawag na magic words, three magic words. Well, sana yung three magic words na yon, you make a magic by putting the words into action. For example, ang first magic word is thank you. Pero if you put the word into action, kindly be appreciative. Kung ang nanay nyo ay, ano, you approve your mother, you affirm your mother. Kasi, you put, you put your thoughts into word and action. Kaya po sana, mamaya, you tell your parents, ma, I appreciate you. So when was the last time you received such compliment? Siguro bakang iba sa inyo was never told about that affirmation. Sana araw-araw, hindi kahit weekly. May nagpapasalamat po sa inyo. Pangalawa, yung second magic word ay sorry. Pero if you put that into action, a sincere sorry ay, after mo mag-sorry, bako yung pagkakamali, tapos you call it reparation, you repair the damage. Nag-sorry ka nga, but damage pa yung person, dapat you repair the damage to, to complete the sorry. So huwag yung kakalimutan niya na sa kumpisal, ganyan yan, di ba kaya nga may penance, Ang purpose ng penance, reparation, repair. Dapat ayusin yung mga nasira. Ibalik ang mga dapat ibalik. Kasi kahit nag-sorry kayo, ang ibang mga pamilya, 30 years ago na nag-away-away pa kasi 30 years ago, hindi man talaga na-repair yung problema. So repair, repair. And I think it, maganda ito ngayon. Na, kaya sa mga nag-Christmas ngayon, na reunion, naku, kain ng kain lang. Pakakain, tulog na, inaantok na. Sana second part ng reunion, yun na yun, yung family healing. Lagyan nyo ng second part, pakakain, yung mag, pag-usapan yung pamilya, hindi ang ibang mga Pilipino, pakakain, takbo na sa uwi. Wala man, mamay, gutom ka na naman. Pero yung puso, mga, ano pa, ano pa, hungry pa, so punuin both the stomach and the heart. And last po pala, third, ano, magic word ay yung I love you. Pero paano ito, maging konkreto sa mga anak, sana maglinis kayo ng bahay. Yung tinilugan ninyo, ayusin nyo mabuti. Maglampaso, magwali sa labas ng bahay. Huwag mag-asawa ng maaga. Huwag puro cellphone kasi, kaya nakaka-asawa ka agad kasi puro cellphone ang hawak eh. Magbasa ng mabuti para tumulis ang pag-iisip. Para pagdating mo ng 30 years old, you'll be productive, functional, and creative. So, some suggestions lang naman to ma, so mga kapatid, to close his homily, I hope all these suggestions I said ay makatulong po para makaranas tayo ng kabanalan sa loob ng ati pamilya. Again, a strong family relationship is next to godliness. Magsitayo po tayo. Prayer of the faithful. Let us joyfully give thanks to the Heavenly Father for sending His Son to become a member. i sorry. We are going to profess our beautiful faith. Together, we recite, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified 
who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Prayer of the faithful, let us joyfully give thanks to the Heavenly Father for sending His Son to become a member of our human family. With one heart, let us pray. Hear the prayer of your family, Lord. Hear the prayer of your family, O Lord. May Pope Francis, bishops, priests, deacons, religious and lay leaders continually strive to grow in holiness in Christ by fulfilling their responsibilities in synodality and brotherhood. We pray. Hear the prayer of your family, O Lord. May government officials and civil leaders lead their constituents by their good example, promote peace and prosperity among the people, and support families beset by calamity, injustice, and poverty. We pray. Hear the prayer of your family, O Lord. May families that are severely tried by separation and problems related to drugs and sexual abuse receive healing and comfort from Jesus, love, and from their communities. We pray. Hear the prayer of your family, O Lord. May all families be protected from the harm brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic. We pray. Hear the prayer of your family, O Lord. May our departed brothers and sisters rest in God's eternal embrace of peace. We pray. Hear the prayer of your family, O Lord. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Hear the prayer of your family, O Lord. Heavenly Father, listen to your family, whom you call to become holy like your Son. Send us your Spirit as we grow daily in your love and truth, that we may honor you in our lives through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, humbly asking that through the intercession of the Virgin Mother of God and Saint Joseph, you may establish our families firmly in your grace and your peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them, them up, up to, to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for through Him, the whole exchange that restores our life has shone forth today in splendor, when our frailty is assumed by your word. Not only does human mortality receive an ending honor, but by this wondrous union, we too are made eternal. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Till you come again, we proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, 
and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Onesto Ong Choco our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Gathering all our prayers into one, let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Ang kapayapaan ng ating Panginoong Diyos ay laging sumain niyo. At sumain niyo rin. Tayo po ay magbigay ng kapayapaan sa isa't isa. Peace, peace to everyone. Sa mga nasa labas, peace to all of you. Those in the online, peace.
Friends, this is our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Behold Him, for He takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you're present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. So brightly shine, laying it is a night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error, pining till he appeared and the soul. World. A thrill of hope, the weary world rejoices for yonder reigns a new and glorious morn. All on your knees. Let us pray. Bring those you refresh with this heavenly sacrament, most merciful Father, to imitate constantly the example of the Holy Family, so that after the trials of this world, 
we may share their company forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help all those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious, blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calumsol, Pray for us. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Fernandez. Pray for us. Please be seated for some announcement. To ensure the safety of everyone, observance of health and safety standards, such as physical distancing, wearing a face mask, use of sanitizer, and taking of body temperature are still in place. Please bring your vaccination cards to be presented at the entrance. Regular mass schedule will resume on December 26, and New Year's Eve mass on December 31 is at 8 p.m. On New Year's Day, masses will be at 8 a.m., 10 a.m., 4 p.m., and 6 p.m. Masses will be live streamed and open to the public. Schedule of confession is every Saturday from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. The Shrine Calendar for 2022 is now available at 50 pesos each. You can buy them outside the church or at the Shrine office. The Book of Father Jerry Orbos SVD Cleansing Moments is now available at the main entrance of the Shrine, sold at 120 pesos. Thank you, Father Ronnie Chrysostomo, SVD Shrine Rector. Remain seated. Na-mention po pala yung kalendaryo, yung design ng aming calendar ngayon, yung harapan ng simbahan. Just to give you a little bit of history ng simbahan na ito, bago ito naging shrine, ito muna itinawag na Christ the King Seminary Chapel. Kasi po itong chapel na ito is very much connected sa seminary. Sorry, sa seminary. Kasi itong seminary po pala ng Christ the King, ang main purpose nito, bakit ito tinayo dito, 90 years ago, to produce missionaries to be sent outside the Philippines. And the first ever to do that, and it was Pope Pius XII who ordered the SVD to put this up. To he also help us finance the seminary. Ngayon, dahil ko lang ang budget, yung chapel noon, Diyan lang sa loob ng building kung saan ngayon ang library. Pero bag 1960s na, 30 years after construction ng building na yan, dumami yung narista, inabot ng 500. Kaya naisipan nila, itayo na itong chapel. Kaya we are so thankful na ngayon naging avenue na ito for us to gather. Not only physical but also online. Sa mga we, are, we are being watched by thousand attendants. 
So thanks be to God. So if you get that calendar, which you can find there sa my harapan po ng headquarters ng Social Development Center namin, you'll get a piece of our history. It's more than a calendar. It's like a souvenir. It's like a memoir, a souvenir, a token in the past, which, will, uh, which has a significance in the missionary purpose of the Church of the Philippines. Pangalawa nang po pala, I am composing daily prayer. This prayer is composed in a way na pwede maging inspirational, educational, something to uplift you. It's put, it's put in a simple words, and I am publishing it daily sa Facebook page po na Words to Light Our Path. Sa mga nasa online, lalabas po dyan yung poster, Words to Light Our Path. Baka makatulong lang naman. Minsan kasi, when we pray, we need, we need a guide to articulate the thoughts in our hearts. At baka itong poster prayer na ito may help us articulate the desires, the longings, and thoughts of our mind and heart. So I invite you to follow and subscribe to Words to Light Our Path. Maybe after the Mass, you can check your phones. So that's all for now. Thank you so much. Thank you for being with us for the past days. Salamat sa lahat ng volunteers. Magsitayo po tayo for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may our Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Angels we have heard on high Sweetly singing o'er the plains And the mountains in reply Echoing the joyous strings Lord, oh, 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 In excels is there Why your joyous songs from wrong? Say what may the tidings be which inspire your heavenly song? Gloria in excelsis Deo, Gloria in excelsis Deo.